On the Radio is brought to you by Zurich Insurance, the perfect place to catch up with all things Melbourne. If you enjoy this content and want more inside access from the team, make sure you visit the club website. Well, the Melbourne Football Club and the AFLW had their first little blemish uh, last weekend. They went down to the Adelaide Crows. They've got the Gold Coast Suns tomorrow night, 7-10, Casey Fields. Uh, great to talk to um, well, one of the ladies who's going to be running out in the red and blue tomorrow night. One of the original Sarah Lampard's on the line. Welcome, Sarah. Hi, Sam. Thanks for having me. Hey, absolute, absolute pleasure. I appreciate you giving us uh, some of your time. You'd be happy that, uh, well, it's a good forecast anyway if you're playing in the afternoon. A nice little 26 degrees tomorrow. Geez, you've had some uh, some shocking days weather-wise this year, haven't you? Hot. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the more milder, milder days that we'll have um, tomorrow. But yeah, we've been graced with a bit of hot weather in recent times. But Luckily, we train all through um, the, the summer during pre-season. So we've kind of been able to train through it and get prepared um, for hot games. But, um, yeah, tomorrow should be actually quite nice in comparison. I, I guess it leads to a wider debate that's been had, you know, plenty of times over in the last few months around the timing of, of the season and when it should be played. I mean, are you passionate about, about that particular topic? Um, not particularly, but I do like the free air we can get at the moment. Um, it's nice to have our own time and separated from the men's competition. Um, I feel like it brings out our own supporter base who come along and are real passionate about it. Mm. It also means we get to avoid those real um, cold, wet days in winter, which I think I prefer the heat personally over over those days. (laughs) Yeah, certainly. Certainly when you're training, that's for sure. Hard to rock up to training when it's raining sideways and about five degrees. No doubt about that. The the season that the the, the team's having, you're three in one, four games. I mean, the season's obviously... All over the place, COVID's uh, ensuring that everyone's played a different amount of games. Are you finding it hard to get a gauge of of where teams are at, albeit Fremantle and Adelaide are, are undefeated? Are, you got a good grasp of the pecking order, do you think? Um, yeah, I think so. Obviously, there's a couple of standout teams. Um, and on the weekend, we got to see that first hand playing against Adelaide. Um, but I think you can kind of gauge where the teams are at. It has been a bit of a mixed bag of who's playing when. And there's been a few midweek games recently, but... Um, I think the theme of this season is just that we've all got to be adaptable um, and, yeah, just kind of adapt to whatever is thrown at us, whether that be conditions or um, changing games or chucking an extra game with a shortened break in as well. What uh, what went wrong against the Crows last weekend? Uh, there was a couple of things that went wrong. Um, I think the biggest thing for us was our fundamentals, so... We're really lacking with um, our kicking and handballing skills, um, which let us down when we're linking up offensively. Um, but then just, I think the one thing that Adelaide had over us was the contest. They came a lot more fiercer than we did. Um, so that kind of put us a bit on the back foot. They were winning the ball and getting it forward more than we were. But luckily this week against Gold Coast, they play a similar brand of football and they're a really good contested side. So we've had a week to go away, work on it. Um, so we're all looking forward to having another crack um, against Gold Coast this weekend. And we're speaking to the D, Sarah Lampard. As I said, Sarah, off the top, one of the originals. In fact, one of only six players still at the club from um, Melbourne's inaugural season in the AFLW competition. So you're as, as qualified as anyone to, to chart and um, describe the, the evolution when it comes to AFLW. I mean, what have you seen this year and what changes have you noticed in the way the game's played and how it's played? Well, it's a lot more skillful than it's been previously. Um, and with that, um, the players are coming through more and more skilled, and especially the younger girls who um, have played since, you know, all, kick all the way through um, to NAB League in Victoria and then getting drafted. But then with that, um, the athletes are also a lot more fit and strong. Um, so we're coming across um, girls who are powerful players um, and also very skilled. Um, so, yeah, it's been a great development and, and um, the league is definitely getting stronger and stronger. Unfortunately, one of the annual topics of conversation around the competition is just the, I guess, the amount of uh, ACLs and, and of knee injuries. I mean, I'm not sure what you made of that this year, but, geez, speaking of being qualified, you've copped two already, um, one in your left, one in your right. So what have you made of, um, I guess, uh, unfortunately, another, another spate of knee injuries this year? Yeah, it's not really what you... It's not ideal. It's not what you want to see, especially um, high caliber players going down. Um, but there are plenty of studies that are going on at the moment um, to see why that is the case. Mm. Um, so hopefully, yeah, in the future, there's not as many. But yeah, for the meantime, it's not a great thing. 
is um, it... good players get injured. Yeah, I was just going to, I mean, some people have drawn the link. I don't know if it's too simplistic to say the time of the year that you're playing in contributes, but I mean, that without, without offending ground stuff, because the grounds are in amazing condition, but just the fact that you're playing in, in the height of summer and, and the decks can be firm, I mean, is that is that too simplistic? Um, I think the grounds we're playing on are actually quite nice. Like, we're pretty lucky to play on quite lush grounds for this time of year. Mm. But I think there's a lot of things that go into it, like the fatigue factor in summer could be one thing, but... Um, there's so many variables to it. I think it's hard to narrow it down just to one. But um, I guess what, this is what the study is trying to look at. It. It's what, like, why are women a lot more susceptible than men? Um, yeah, hopefully we find out that in time to come. Yeah, and you, you're still only 24 years of age. As I say, you've had the two knee recos. You, you're probably wise beyond your years. You've seen a bit in your uh, in your 33 games as a defender. Yeah, yeah, it's been um, yeah ups and downs. Um, fans are uh, this is not sixth year in the competition, um, but yeah, it feels like I've been playing a lot more than thirty three games. But um, when you add on BFL in the off season as well, it's probably a bit more um, time. But yeah, with my injuries, it probably helps me widen up a bit and be a bit more grateful to play the game when I am out there. Um, but then also appreciate um, my body and how it moves, and I'd love to know that a lot better. And the whole COVID situation, of course, has affected every team differently and some have had it worse than others. And we know the situation with the WA border. There's just a, It's hard enough, I reckon, at the top level. What's it been like dealing with all this as well? Yeah, it's, it's been a bit, yeah, all over the shop at some time. But, again, we've just learned to be adaptable and there's been players come in and out um, over the first few weeks. But I think it's just you've got to take it. Um, yeah, as it comes. But it's also, like, on it's been, I've had a twofold effect. Like, on the other hand, we've had a lot of players who've had the opportunity to play who may not have this, but we have a lot of out. So I think that'll put us in really good stead for the back end of the season. We'll have a lot more depth and um, players experience. So that'll be good for us. I shake at the thought of how many rapid tests you, you would have done over the course of the last four to five months. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm... Yeah, a lot. <laughs> a lot of PCR tests, a lot of rapid tests. But, yeah, um, yeah it's just a part of the routine now. Yeah, it's normal, isn't it? And it's uh, I guess we're, we're really interested as well because, I mean, you guys, it's it's a prism into what, you know, the AFL men's competition are, are going to um, be hit with, albeit we haven't got the protocols in place for, for minimum um, team numbers for those games and for, for you girls at, at 16, of course. So bigger picture, speaking of numbers, next season, every club has a women's team. It's going to be amazing, an 18-team competition. You must be... I know you've got uh, bigger things on your plate for now, but bigger picture must be exciting to, to have a f- every team in it next year. Yeah, it's really exciting, um, especially at the AFL level. Like We're going to have all teams buying into the AFLW, so that's yeah, really exciting um, to see all teams represented. Um, I think it's going to make the game grow even further than it has been, um, and you'll see a lot more teams, say, in New South Wales and Adelaide, who have just had one team for the first few years. So it's a really exciting time. Um, I look forward to see how that, that unfolds in the next year or so. And obviously more games is the aim as well. You just want to play more. Yeah, hopefully. Um, that's all getting sorted out over the next couple of months. But hopefully um, more games, more exposure. So, um, yeah, the, the competition will continue to grow and grow as we play more games and more girls um, are introduced to the competition. Well, you're having a nice season, Sarah. Well done on that. Uh, individually and as a team, you made a nice start, 3-1, and one, and hopefully becomes 4-1 and one tomorrow night, Seven ten. Casey Fields. Get along if you're in the area and watch uh, the Ds go up against uh, the Gold Coast Suns out at Casey. Thanks a lot for your time, Sarah. Best luck with the rest of the season. Thanks, Sam.